Hello everybody, my name is Neil Bakiev. I'm your IELTS instructor with a perfect band 9 in the speaking section. And today we'll be analyzing IELTS speaking part 1, taken from Cambridge IELTS Academic Book 17, Test 1. And our topic is history. Let's look at the first question. What did you study in history lessons when you were at school? So here I have prepared one speaking template for you. You can start your sentence with studying history has always sparked my interest and curiosity. So this is a great introduction. Here you can use the present perfect, has sparked, and you use a great collocation, spark my interest and curiosity. Okay. Next. As far as I remember, the primary focus of our history classes was. So the question is, what did, you, uh, what did you study in history lessons when you were at school? So the examiner wants to know what kind of specific aspect you were focusing on. And therefore here you can say, as far as I remember, the primary focus of our history classes was. And here, explain what you learned. Then. You can provide one specific example. You can say, for example, we learned in here, be more specific, talk about one part of history that was exciting for you. Next, this part of our history was truly amazing to me. So here it's your beautiful conclusion. Okay, so you can use this template to give your response. Now I will show you my model answers based on this speaking template. So listen to me carefully and try to understand what kind of ideas I use for this template. Okay, so the question is, what did you study in history lessons when you were at school? And here is my response. Studying history has always sparked my interest and curiosity. As far as I remember, the primary focus of our history classes was the history of human evolution. For example, we learned how apes evolved into human beings by learning how to walk upright, how to use a wide range of tools, and how to become a social species. This part of our history was truly amazing to me. Okay. Hopefully you have understood how to talk about one particular part of history. Okay, now let's just move to the next um, question. Did you enjoy studying history at school? Why or why not? Okay, you should say I most certainly did, which means of course I did. The main reason for this was that, and then here you should provide one specific reason why you enjoyed studying history at school. Next, for example, my history teacher explained to us, and here explained what fascinating aspect you studied at school. Next, it was also interesting to analyze, here you can give one more interesting idea. And then, overall, a deep understanding of such historic events is crucial. Okay, so, so this is your uh, short conclusion. Now I will show you my response now. Okay, so listen to me carefully. I'm going to use the same template, but for my response. All right, uh, so the question is, did you enjoy studying history at school? Why or why not? Here's my response. I most certainly did. The main reason for this was that I had the opportunity to analyze why certain events occurred and what consequences the nations involved faced. For example, my history teacher explained to us why World War II broke out and how much suffering both soldiers and civilians experienced when attacked by the Nazi army. It was also interesting to analyze the key strategies and solutions that were applied by wise leaders in order to resolve conflicts. Overall, a deep understanding of such historic events is crucial. All right, 
Now let's fo let's focus on the next question. The next question is how often do you watch TV programs about history now? Why or why not? Okay, so you can start your sentence with um, I have been watching TV programs about history for quite some time, more specifically about two or three times a week. Okay, and here you can use um, a very complex grammar, the present perfect continues, right? And in here you want to be more specific, saying about two or three times a week. And then uh, the next sentence is I do enjoy watching programs which explain, and in here, explain what kind of programs you like watching okay and then for example give one specific example subsequently in this case it means um, as a result or you know later and then give more information all right so by using this template you will be able to speak more confidently okay so now i will give you my response okay so listen carefully and try to understand how I have been able to use this speaking template. So the question is, how often do you watch TV programs about history now? Why or why not? I have been watching TV programs about history for quite some time, more specifically about two or three times a week. I do enjoy watching programs which explain how original technological inventions affected our lifestyle. For example, last week I watched a documentary about the invention of the first car. Subsequently, early car drivers were totally thrilled because they were able to reach destinations significantly faster than those who merely walked, rode bicycles or horses. All right, let's move on. The next question is, what period in history would you like to know more about? Why? Okay, so um, you can start your presentation with saying, because I have always been curious about different aspects of life, I would be interested in learning and here talk about one specific aspect that you would really want to know. Next. I would also like to understand and give some extra information here. And then all of these aspects have always sparked my curiosity. So this is your um, very small and nice conclusion. Now, please listen to my response. Okay, I'm going to use the same template. So the question is, what period in history would you like to know more about? Why? Because I have always been curious about different aspects of life, I would be interested in learning how the earth was created, how the first insects, plants, animals, and subsequently human beings appeared on earth. I would also like to understand how humans were able to establish settlements, cities, and countries. All of these aspects have always sparked my curiosity. All right, let's move on. And that's it. Okay, guys, if you would like to analyze my model answers, right, the answers that I have just shown you, and understand what specific grammar, vocabulary, and structure to use for each response, you could purchase the IELTS speaking and writing app to maximize your score and pass the examination. Please use the link below the video. Good luck with your IELTS examination. Best regards, Neil.